Good morning, everyone. Not good morning to you, Mr. Yeah, you get back in your bed. It's all right for some, isn't it? I think I forgot to let Porter out for a number two before he went to bed last night. So we did get a little wake up call in the night. So I am quite tired. I didn't sleep very well and I've got quite puffy eyes. So I'm using these little globe things. I don't even know what they're called. I saw these on, um, I think it was either Amelia Liana's videos or stories, I can't remember. However, hilariously, these didn't come with any instructions. And so I put them in the freezer and then I put them on my face and oh my goodness, it exploded. Luckily, it just hit my cheek. It didn't actually um, go in my eye, but yeah, Amelia was like, you don't put them in the, in the freezer. I was like, oh, I thought this was like a special liquid that didn't freeze. Anyway, they live in the fridge now, so whatever you do, do not put these in the freezer, but they are, oh, for days like today, when I haven't had a good night's sleep, it's my own fault. I will give him that, it wasn't his fault. He's usually very, very good at sleeping through the night. Oh, yes. So we have a fun start to the morning. <laughs> I have a smear test. <laughs> Oh dear, not looking forward to that at all, but it's got to be done. Although maybe I shouldn't have, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't have booked it for now and just waited until all of this is over, but I got my letter. So I was like, I should probably go. So that is what I am doing. I'm going to obviously need a considerable more uh, makeup this morning to help my face look remotely away, but we are going, oh, hello there, Mr. Thumperdum. Look how big he's got. I watched the video of us introducing you all to him. And he's just so big now. You are such a big boy. Did you go for your first walk yesterday? He obviously wasn't walking, we were carrying him. And he was a little bit spooked by the, the sound of cars, but he's, um, he's doing amazingly. And he, every time we stopped, he would fall asleep. <laughs> what are you doing? Get back in bed, boy. Come on, back in bed. Oh, okay, I am. In my dressing room which my dressing room is a bit of a mess at the moment it is so dark in the mornings that doing makeup together isn't that easy but i'm determined to use daylight because i just think it's so much easier to see makeup on my face um so yeah i didn't um vlog all weekend we should probably have a little bit of a sort of catch up just because i ended up having some champagne on friday night which i just love champagne at the moment it's my favorite thing a, a lovely glass of moet with a strawberry in it is just my favorite it really is such a nice way to end the week i don't drink during the week anymore obviously when we were working you'd go to events and things like that i don't drink during the week anymore but i do enjoy at the end of the week on a friday i prefer it on a Friday to a Saturday because if I have it on a Friday then I can have a little bit of a fuzzy day on Saturday and then I can enjoy a Sunday so it feels like you have a longer weekend so I had a little bit of champagne on Friday and then on Saturday we had a duvet day and we definitely learned that Porter can't can't have duvet days because it throws his routine out of sync. So we have to be a bit more careful that he's not snoozing too much on the sofa with us. So I took yesterday just to myself, checked on the garden, uh, went for a walk and just did, did chilled stuff basically. But it's another week and I obviously have my smear test today, so that's all good. I am gonna get my makeup on my face and crack on with the day. So I'm gonna do my makeup with you today and um, hopefully feel a little bit better because I'm obviously tired as well because of porters waking up in the middle of the night. So I'm gonna start with my face and obviously, because I'm not gonna be putting makeup on my bum, am I? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pop some of my Saint Tropez Express, not Express, Purity Mist on my face because I'm not fake tanning today. I just don't have time. So I thought I'd pop some of this on just to give me a little bit of color and a little bit of help. I do love the glow that the Purity Mist gives you. I am going to start by getting my age old favorite, the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. This is like my super quick makeup. This has been my makeup sort of routine throughout the whole of lockdown, to be honest, like give or take a product. I'm just kind of sticking to the same, the same kind of routine. So I get this on my face to give me a bit of glow because we all need a little bit of glow at the moment. So that is the Brightening CC Serum on my face and it is just, <clears throat> It just gives the loveliest, loveliest glow. And for my base, I am using the new By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer. I have been using this for, how long has it been? It, it has to have been at least 
two or three months and I've been using it on the down low. I love it when they send me things early. Basically like, try this, let us know what you think. If you like it, great. I am using shade 100 and shade 400. And basically I use shade 100 like to highlight like under my eyes and in all of the areas that I want to like attract the light basically. So under here, like so it is the nicest like lightest the moment that i got it i was like carrie you are going to love this new concealer because it is beautiful it just gives you such a beautiful like dewy glow and it keeps your skin so hydrate oh my god it is so beautiful it's the one thing with by terry i mean i just get excited about everything that they do but when they bring out a new base product that is like oh my absolute favorite. And so I have been dying to tell you about this particular product. So I'm gonna buff it in. It's so beautiful and lightweight. It just gives such a light finish, but it's also long wearing. And I'm gonna be wearing this all through the day with you to show you just how lightweight it is. And I've got lots and lots to update you on around the house. I've got to do a little bit of a uh, gardening as well so it should hopefully see me through the day which I have no doubt that it will because it sees me through all of the stuff that I've been doing recently work-wise and when the sun comes up I will of course show you this and show you how beautiful it is because you can already see look oh it is the absolute dream I love putting this on in the morning because it doesn't like go on hydrating and then just dry up and look chalky but not when you wear this as a base and obviously you don't have to wear this as your full base i just really prefer lighter bases things that are more lightweight so mixing concealers enables me to sort of um have that sheerer more dewy but natural i look back at some of my pictures doing like my makeup and i'm like wow lydia you had so much unnecessary makeup on your face and now i really do enjoy having as little as possible Obviously this is from the Hyaluronic collection at By Terry and that is one of my favorites. Like everything that they have done from the foundation to the powders, it really is one of those collections that does exactly what it says. It keeps your skin hydrated, it doesn't dry it out. I love the powder so much. And so when they said they were bringing out this concealer, I was like, I'm gonna love this as like an alternative to the Hydra foundation because the Hydra foundation has such insane coverage and I really wanted to see something like lighter from the collection and I got my wish. <laughs> the formula has 87% skincare in it. So it's really taking care of your skin when it's on your face, which is something that I actually really look for in my base products now because my skin can be quite temperamental and I want something that's gonna look after it, not clog it up and obviously keep it hydrated as well. The key features and things that like really set it apart from anything else in the industry is it has auto adjustable technology. So it really helps to adjust to the color of your face and um, match your skin tone. As with every By Terry base product, it is smoothing and also you can build it up, like it's quite sheer and really like natural looking, but you can build that up as each layer sort of sets, you can add more to it. And just like I've got a little bit of a problem area here, I can add a little bit more to it. It adds radiance and luminosity, it's color correcting, blurring, non-caking, and most importantly, long wearing. It's also weightless and just so luminous as well so the one thing that I'm gonna be testing out with you today is its long wearing capabilities so I'm gonna get the rest of my makeup on my face now I am pretty much all done I love that it still looks like my skin as well I love that I'm gonna go in with my bronzer this is the Laura Mercier candlelight in shade 3 I've swapped out from my code 8 one because I maybe felt like it was a bit too dark for me now that we were in winter. It worked really well in summer, but this one is so beautiful and subtle. So I've been wearing this one a lot more just to add a little extra glow in my C shape around my face. I have to be super quick. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do my hair either. I feel like leaving the house now is such an ordeal. Like I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so out of like my routine for leaving the house. I don't know what I need. I don't know what I'm, doing okay that is base done i'm gonna add a little bit of highlight this is the carolina herrera highlight which i love it's a beautiful cream and it really accentuates the beautifulness of the by terry concealer because it just adds 
a little extra glow. As you can see, I am not precise with my makeup application at all. I just kind of dab and dab just to get as much done as quickly as possible. I've got my uh, Eyebrow Queen Brow Pro. This is shade Rich Brown. And I'm just filling in the bits that maybe need a little extra TLC. I'm trying to be a lot gentler. Oh, she says. I'm trying to be a lot gentler with my brow application because I think it can end up looking a little bit thick. I also use my eyebrow pencil as my eyeliner now. I much, much prefer a brown liner to my quite harsh black one that I used to have. It's just a bit softer and doesn't look quite so harsh when you've got a really nice neutral base. Come on, we need a little bit more nosy nose. That is the only thing with this brush, blusher, blusher. It's bronzer. But the only thing is I find it sometimes I really need to like give it some on my nose to get the look that I want. We are going in with my Christian Louboutin mascara, obviously amazing. Although I'm having such a bad eyelash time at the moment. There's one cycle of my eyelashes that is just terrible and it's this one. So my eyelashes are always like really bitty. So don't judge this mascara by my eyelashes right now. Although it definitely does make the best of a bad situation. One more. And there we have my makeup finished. I will of course link the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Concealer in the description box down below where you can pick it up. It is such a beautiful concealer and I am absolutely obsessed with how it looks on my skin. Yeah, I will link it down below. Let me know your thoughts. And I am going to quickly try and get my hair done and get dressed before I need to leave in like 10 minutes. My dressing room needs a big organised, but I wanted to get into this H&M parcel with you because I can't believe I actually managed to nab this. This was something that I had had my eye on for such a long time. It's similar to the jumper dress that I got last year from them, but this one kept selling out. And I think someone must have returned this one or something, but it's like the jumper that I got the other week, but it's a jumper dress and it's cable knit. And as you know, I am obsessed with cable knit at the moment. And so I wanted, oh, this is perfect. Perfect, perfect. I'm gonna put my uh, tights on and get ready to go because I literally have no time at all. Not whilst you guys are on camera as well. <laughs> this is the jumper on. I think it's slightly shorter, but it has to be a jumper dress for me. I love it. So I'm gonna keep pulling it down. Um, I've also popped on something new. I wanted to get the Kelly belt to go with my Birkin and I love it. I got it sent from the Sloan Street store from my sales associate there. And I love, love, love it. It's so perfect. It's even got the contrast stitching, so it matches. So I'm gonna wear that because, you know, we make an effort now to go to the doctor. So I'm gonna get my boots on, get my bag and get a warm coat on and head out. Right, I am back from the GP surgery and it wasn't pleasant, but it wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, I've actually had my mask on as well and my makeup has not budged. It has on my lips, <laughs> but it has not budged off my face. I haven't even had to touch it up at all. It's also, which is really interesting, it's providing such a um, moisturized base for my eye area, especially when my eyes are as tired as they are today. Because it's got that skincare functionality in it, it's making sure that my eye area is kept super hydrated. But because I've used it all over my face, my, my whole face is uh, nice and hydrated as well. The shades that it comes in actually adapt to your skin tone. I mix two together at the moment to highlight and like contour the face essentially. 
essentially. It's got really innovative technology um, as part of the formula to ensure that um, it adapts to your skin tone. And it's just, it's honestly amazing. And so I'm loving how my skin looks today. Also loving this outfit. I will link it down below, but I do think that this jumper will be long gone. I need to have a bit of a tidy up in here at the moment. We've got lots of paperwork all over the dining table and there are lots of little puppy toys on the floor. <laughs> this little guy is snoozing and I need to pop these flowers that Carrie got me into a proper vase as well. She got me those like cabbage tulips, which I've never seen tulips like this before and they are honestly adorable. I love them. We've also had an email from Alitex today, so I'm gonna take you outside and just give you a bit of an update out there as well. There's lots to update you on, and also work is gonna be starting again in the house, which is brilliant. I'm very excited because we're just gonna be adding, oh, just after what we achieved in the, in the study, I'm so excited. And so I'm gonna give you um, a peek at my greenhouse flooring but it's also going to be the same flooring that we get inside as well finally i will be getting rid of these tiles honestly i hate them so much they just look so dated and just miserable and the grout in them do not get me started on the grout i don't know what was used on this floor but you can see down here in fact i can show you so you can see the color that the grout was supposed to be which actually looks a lot darker on camera but this is I don't know what this is but this is the color that it's gone everywhere else so it's gone this much darker color and it's just horrible absolutely horrible not to mention that I hate gloss tiles and so hopefully these will be going even though they don't look very glossy. Again, I don't know what was used on them, but they're just ruined. So we have decided that obviously COVID permitting, we will uh, maybe go on a little staycation when they take up this floor because we don't wanna be here when they're drilling this up. Oh no, 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 no. So let's get cracking. Get a nice warm coat on. We're going to head out in to the kitchen garden as it currently is. It's so chilly out there today. I've got my skizzers so that I can cut open the flooring. So not much has changed out here, although a lot more has been growing. I'll show you a little bit of an update of what has been growing. My garlic is doing so well. I'm so happy that I planted it when I did. As you can see through there, garlic has sprouted up nicely which is fab. This guy's doing amazingly right here. And we got a little bit of salad, but nothing really to write home about. And then my broad beans over here, again, doing amazingly. We were really worried actually because they started getting a little bit nibbled. So we put up this fleece. These are the fleeces. Admittedly, they're not that aesthetically pleasing, um, the fleeces, but they do a good job and so we're using those to keep them protected through the winter, make sure they're kept a little bit warm and protected from the frost. Obviously there's nothing in this bed. Um, got a little bit of stuff that's dying back in that bed. This bed there's nothing in either. We've got a lot of herbs in this one, but they're not, they don't really do much at this time of year, which I'm sure you're aware of. Come February, when my greenhouse is in, oh, it's gonna be an absolute planting fest. I'm gonna pop you here and we're gonna have a look at my Carpietra floor. I'm very very excited about this. So we went for this floor because it is the same as the kitchen and I think it'll look really nice in the greenhouse. Oh there we go. Freezing. These are the cobbles so they're slightly bigger than what we've got elsewhere in the actual garden but these are the cobbled Naranjo. Oh Honestly, these are going to be so nice. I can't wait for it to be on my floor in my kitchen. Oh. Hello, Lummy, you helping? You helping? Yeah, so this colour looks really nice against the brickwork. It's nice and soft, so it's going to work really, really well in here, I think. I've got filthy hands now. So, the floor will be going down um, at the end of January, and then we've just agreed to take delivery of the greenhouse early. So they're going to deliver it, and it will sit unfitted for a while, and then it means that someone could just come up and fit it 
quite short notice if it's already here. So we've agreed to let them like store it somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna store it, but they'll store it somewhere. So that's handy. And they've said that it will be sort of mid to early February, which is perfect because that's when I'm gonna be sort of starting to get some, some veg and some things in the ground. So fingers crossed, I can't wait to reseed the lawn as well because it's a little bit patchy, but it's gonna be worth it. I was uh, stood in here the other day and I showed it on the uh, home account, Instagram stories, but this little view out into our woodland is just so lovely. And I'm gonna have a little bistro table here and I can have my morning coffee. Porty Poo and Lumi will be running around. This is the electricity because obviously there's going to be lights in the greenhouse and we also want to light up the greenhouse as well. I'm thinking getting some sort of lights just to light up the front of it. I'm also going to put those battery powered candles in as well because they come on on timers and I think it will look so nice to see what looks like candle light but it'll actually be obviously fake candle light in the window at night time. I thought that'd be really lovely. So that's one thing I'm gonna do, have like hurricane lanterns and things like that inside, which will be lovely. Also, I didn't get to show you my latest bunch of flowers arrived from number five blooms and it was slightly bigger and I loved it. So I thought that it would look really, really nice in this corner and it does. It will also dry out really nicely as well. So I'm just gonna kind of leave it here to do its thing. I think I'm gonna get a picture for the home account today though and pop this up because I think it's so lovely. And I love that little concrete like vase. But we have an update in here as well. You can see Porter's future steps for when he's a bigger boy. I received my confirmation from BEMS that my new Designers Guild covers are going to be coming for my sofas. Now, if you don't know, I have the full set of the Ikea Farlov sofas and I love them. I absolutely love them. I think they're brilliant and they were such a affordable, I mean, sofas are expensive at the best of times, but they were such an affordable alternative to the Neptune sofa. They've got a certain type of sofa. My friend's mum has them and they're lovely and they're so comfortable and squishy, but they're so expensive. These Farloff sofas are really, really similar. They're almost like a dupe. I think the only thing that I can find that's really different is there is two separate seat cushions for the Neptune ones. Whereas on the Ikea ones, you have one single seat. Sorry, that's my Apple Watch going off. So I got confirmation. They said when I ordered them that it was gonna be like weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. I ordered it early December, all of the covers. I think it was like 12 weeks, but I've just received an email to say that they are going to be arriving. I think it's the 5th of February, like give or take a day or two. And I've gone for the Brero linen or Brera linen covers in shade Pebble. Uh, they, that was a color that Lauren picked and it's just going to soften the, the color of the sofas in here because one of the things that we noticed once we did the study, it was how Lauren didn't use any like whites or anything in the room and it gives such a cozier feel than this room. We, even though this room is very cozy, we can soften things, we can soften the whites and obviously we are changing the carpet in here which is being donated to my mum. My mum is going to have have her whole house recarpeted with this, which is brilliant because it means that there's no waste and it means that my mum gets a really, really lovely carpet. And yeah, so I think that's really good. So we get to donate it to my mum. Yeah, so it's gonna be a bit softer in here, a little bit more kind of oatmeal-y against the black. And I think it's gonna work really, really well. I've actually just been looking at the new Paloma Living catalog as well and their new throws. Oh my gosh, I can't wait can't wait to get them. Today I have a really exciting package arriving as well from a company called The Little Ladder Company. I've been waiting for this since before December. Yeah, it was supposed to arrive and it got lost and I've been waiting for it to arrive and I've got the notification that it should be arriving today and I just, I think this brand is gorgeous and I think that so many of you are gonna love it. So hopefully I get to unbox that with you today as well. But yes, so end of January, the flooring goes down in the kitchen garden greenhouse and we will be starting phase one in the house and it's basically like the the finishing touches that i talked to you about that i want to thread what lauren does through the house and finish everything off obviously our bathroom is getting a full refit that just need is disgusting our bathroom so that needs a full refit and and our bedroom is going to be getting painted as well we're going to be getting a new bed and lots of stuff so it's going to be a long process and there's going to be a lot going on in the house it's going to be really disruptive but I also kind of figured that there's no better time than now to sort of get it done when we are present and 
it's not so crazy. So that's what's gonna be happening as well. But that's all to come, it's all to come. They have finally arrived. I think in here are my new little ladders from the Little Ladder Co. And I just think this is such an adorable idea. In fact, I wanted to show you this before Christmas because I thought, especially for like my home interiors lovers, this just makes such a lovely gift if you've got like a pantry or I've even got one for my dressing room because I often need to open like my Veluxes and things like that. So I'm gonna get them open and show you what's inside. I'm so excited. even come in a branded box this is absolutely adorable oh my gosh babe you do the honors you do the honors so this one i think is for like us having around the house because you know we've got that rickety old ikea one that's like falling apart this one is for all of our stepping needs we do the big reveal oh it's so cute Look, have you seen what it says on the on the side, babe? Oh wow! Yeah. What is that? It says the Millen Gordon family. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable! I love. Look at these hinges as well. That is so nicely done. You can actually use them now. Lumi's gonna love it. Oh, she's gonna love it. Oh, it's so cute. Very happy with that. That is so useful. I love these branded boxes. They are so adorable. So in here, I think this one is for my dressing room. Oh! Yeah. I love it, Lydia's dressing room. Oh. I love this so much. And I just love that this is such a like innovative idea. I've not heard of anyone doing anything like this and you always need a set of steps and it's quite nice to make a proper feature of them. So I'll link the company down below, but these are gorgeous. Oh, it's so cute. I've just popped it here. I need to sort out all of these bags and stuff like that, but I'm just leaving them there as a little display, but I love it so much. It's so adorable. So well made as well. The craftsmanship is stunning. I have just brought you upstairs because, oh, we've got a lot of things to open today and I've been saving this order to open with you as well. Because this was a brand that I found on Instagram. This is from a brand called Cordings, and I found their stuff on Instagram, like I said. At the moment, I'm just loving all of the sort of more outdoorsy brands. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that's a bit of me. I'm probably going to just get into this and then I'm going to have a call. I've got a call with Instagram again. If you haven't known, I've had like a number of issues with my account recently. And again, last week, my inbox stopped working and I couldn't like see everyone's messages again. Ooh, oh, it looks so nice. I like the tissue paper as well, it's very pretty. Very, very lovely. So yeah, I'm having a chat with them again today. So this is the jumper that I replaced the other one with. So it's just this nice sort of moss green colored jumper, which I think I'll wear a lot with leggings in winter. And then I saw this, I love a gilet at the moment, okay? I love a fleece a gilet, and this one's got like suede panels on it with the moss green finish as well. And then this was the pièce de résistance, this beautiful, beautiful jacket with like a blue velvet collar. I love it. And then it's got kind of like a hound's tooth, but it's got um, like a terracotta colour, a more of a beige colour, a green, and maybe a little bit of blue as well. But I thought that was really nice, and it goes really nicely with cable knit jumpers and things like that. So I've got all of those items as well. I'm going to try them on with you as well, but I'm going to go and have my call now because I've got to have my call. <laughs> I am already in my dressing gown and my pyjamas. Oh, it feels so good to already be cosy in the evening. I have to let you guys know how good Porter has been today. He has literally, like, I feel this is gonna be one of those like benchmark days. Like, do you remember how good he was that day? <laughs> because behavior wise, he's been settling himself. He hasn't done any wheeze on the floor. Have you cleaned up any wheeze today? Um, Apart from this morning when no, we let him out. No, no. no, so he's literally either gone on his pad 
or waited until he's gone outside, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. So I've just rewarded him with a snuffle mat. He loves his snuffle mat. So yeah, I just, I can't believe it. He's like not been crying, not been barking. He loves it. You love your snuffle mat. Oh, you're finding all of the kibble in there. Good boy. Also, I wanted to tell you that before we went into lockdown again, I started having, <laughs> I started having physio because I know I've mentioned previously that I had like a repetitive strain thing on my thumb. And I think initially it might have been that, but slowly over time, what I've ended up with is, oh, what did he call it? It's something to do with my ulnar nerve. It's not carpal tunnel it's like something different tunnel <laughs> it was getting to the point where i wasn't even able to like touch my face properly it was really quite uncomfortable like washing my face doing my hair or anything like that whenever it stretched out my elbow it was really becoming quite tight and uncomfortable and the stretches that i've been doing and the physio that i was having before has honestly changed my life like it feels like this area of my hand because it used to go down my little finger in the side of my hand it feels like it's like coming back to life again it's amazing i'm one of those people that kind of like suffers with things and don't ever bother going to like the physio or the doctor or something like that but i'm so glad that i did start getting treatment for it because it's just given my arm another lease of life it's so good i still see paul collins um, physio, isn't it? Physiotherapy. He's amazing. He's the guy that did my knee that time and it was like instantly cured. But this one I think is going to be a longer process. So I'm going to have to have physio again when we're out of lockdown. Ali is now cooking up a storm. <laughs> Microwaving a storm. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I'm sure you can see from the fact that my lights are on in my dressing room that it is a very cold, miserable and dark day here in the UK. I don't know whether anywhere else in the world gets this, but in England we get cloud that's so thick that there's like little to no light that gets through. And so whenever I say it's dark, people are always like, it's not dark, it's daylight. But I'm like, it's really like overcast, if that makes sense. I've actually had some other items arrive as well. First and foremost, are these leggings. I have been on the hunt for some kind of taupey beige leggings for a while. I actually wanted to buy the, the Tala ones, but they're just out of stock all the time. So I found these, which are pretty little thing, and they look really lovely. They go really nicely with these tones from my boots to my bag and this uh, cable knit jumper. This is just such an easy but wearable outfit, especially for times like this. Like I'm so comfortable. I'm literally wearing a jumper and leggings, which is just the best. But because of the color of the, the leggings, it looks like I've got trousers on, which is all good. I also received, if you can see on my rail, which I don't think you can, there you can. I received my other shuffle. This was out of stock for ages and um, I had it on pre-order or something like that. And it finally came back in. I've got the forest green one of these. So yeah, I thought considering I'm wearing this outfit, it is probably a good time to try these on. So this is the dark brown shuffle. I've just popped it over my cable knit jumper, but literally Ali wears his all around the house all the time. And I basically live in these things because they're so handy to have an extra layer on. And because I'm going in and out of the garden so much with like the kitchen garden situation, it's just nice to be a little bit warm and it's cold. Like it's winter, it's cold. And yeah, so I wanted to get some more of these and this was the one that I picked up. I also want to get the one that's in the color fawn because it's kind of a similar color to these leggings and I loved it. It was a really nice kind of beigey neutral. So um, that's the first gilet. This is the second one. This is the one from Cordings and the other one was the shuffle one. But I really liked the way that this had a little bit more kind of suading to it and I think it was a little bit cheaper than the shuffle ones and it actually feels thicker so that's quite interesting it's got really good, good pockets and I loved the detailing so you can kind of cinch in the waist a little bit more which is really nice to make it a little bit more flattering I'm not sure if it goes with these leggings though I think I need some brown leggings as well so I've got myself some green ones and um, some taupey ones but I want to get some brown leggings as well like some dark chocolate brown I think just for comfort and wearing at this time in our lives basically this is the jacket and I think that this jumper is slightly too thick. I'd need to have like a thinner layer underneath, but I really, really liked this blazer. So um, I don't think I'd wear it with this though, because I'm literally like 
restricted with my arms. But yeah, I really love this. I love the colours. I love these contrasting collars. They look so nice. I've actually ordered a load more from Holland Cooper as well. I'm just obsessed. They've got like two different styles, I guess, from Holland Cooper. It's like one is their more fashion Holland Cooper and then the other is their more kind of like traditional and I love their traditional stuff. So yeah, anyway, I've ordered loads more of those and I'm very happy very very happy with this one sorry after that other jacket I just had to try on this other Holland Cooper jacket this is this isn't a new one I got this one before Christmas but I think that with the tones of the outfit this one goes really really well with this but I think I need so these are like a taupey color I think I need a beige as well maybe like a beige suede that would look really nice but yeah really like this even though I already had it I just wanted to show you <laughs> So this is the kind of like olive military green jumper that I chose. Obviously I chose the other Fair Isle one, uh, but it, 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 it was out of stock. So I chose this one and actually I'm really pleasantly surprised. This is a really nice fit. I like the way it's sort of more fitted on the waistband. It's also got a roll neck, but it folds over to more of the height of a mock turtleneck if that makes sense I usually prefer mock turtlenecks because they come slightly like further down I just prefer this more like half height roll neck but this is a really nice color I actually think this will work really nicely with black so I could just wear my black leggings with this and then stick something over the top for extra warmth also I feel like it's important for me to tell you this but I tweeted it the other day and I just find puppy training so rewarding and I feel like we've really turned a page with Porter at, at the moment. And it's amazing how quick things change. And surely there will be like other obstacles that happen as he grows and things like that. But honestly, when he first came, and I think that probably a lot of people that get puppies feel this way. And so I think it's really important that I say this because there is a point where you're like, oh my gosh, have I done the right thing? And I'm sure it's that way with children as well, where you're like, oh my gosh, like how am I gonna shape this, this human or this dog or this puppy into a person and a really good person or a good puppy? And initially I was like, oh, you know, he's weeing everywhere and he's crying all the time. Am I like not being a good mum by going to him when he's crying and things like that? And then all of a sudden things start falling into place with consistency. But one of the things that my puppy trainer said to me, he was like, it's not about being perfect all the time. Obviously, if you can be perfect all the time, you crack on. But it's not about that all the time. It's actually like a period of consistency. So if you have a day where things aren't as intense and you just really de devote your time to what it is you're trying to teach them, you will see such a massive improvement just from that day. And that's what we've been having. So he's getting better at going outside. The weather at the moment is obviously really bad. It's really windy and it's really quite cold. So we're like not worrying if he has an accident on the kitchen floor or anything like that. Those things are falling into place and he's sleeping really well through the night. One of the things I would love to know, um, in fact, <laughs> I'm having a bit of a brain dump here, is we have him in his crate in the kitchen for the most part. There was a time when he had a little bit of a setback. I, I think maybe something spooked him and we brought him into our bedroom in his crate and he could see me by the side of the bed. What I would love to know is, have you had them in a crate in your room or would you say that it's better to have them in like the kitchen or the utility because at the moment i'm trying to ascertain what the difference is because I, I do think that although we won't have him on our bed at night i do think that we will end up having a bed for him in our bedroom because it just doesn't feel right like lumi sleeps on our bed every night and i wouldn't compromise that because that's hers like that's always been her space and whenever like we had links and winston when that was compromised it was really quite upsetting for her but for him to have a bed on the floor eventually when he's old enough after a year, I think that that's what we would probably want because we love our animals so much. So yeah, and honestly, he just, if he's an angel when he sleeps through the night in the kitchen, he is a double angel when he sleeps next to the bed in his crate. He just doesn't moan, there's no, there's no issues. And I think I saw Elle Darby and I think that her, one of her big dogs, his crate was by the bed and she was like, oh, it's his last day in his crate. And I was thinking to myself, oh, does she crate train them by the bed? And then I was like, oh, I wanna crate train him by the bed. <laughs> At the moment, that's something that I'm like thinking about in my head and trying to like 
come up with an answer as to what I think is the right thing to do. Everyone has different opinions and strong opinions on these things, but um, I've done a lot of research and there really isn't a lot on the topic, if I'm being honest, but maybe I haven't looked deep enough, but that's what I'm currently sort of mulling over in my head. But yeah, he is doing amazingly. And I think that we've really kind of lucked out in, in like a number of aspects. But today he's going for his jabs. Oh, and he's also gonna have a checkup and he's gonna have his worming and defleeing, I think that's what they do today. But anyway, so we're gonna take him to the vets for that. And yeah, that's about it. So he's currently asleep. Like this is the one thing that I'm loving at the moment is he's choosing to, to sleep in his crate. He's just so adorable. You won't believe how big he is now. Hello, little sausage. Look at you. Look at you in your big boy crate. Oh, you show in the belly because you want a little belly rub. Yes, you do. I love that all of these little things that I got him, he snuggles up against them. Ali has popped to Woven today to socially distance, click and collect his tailoring from Suster and Hicks. I think it's like a, a bespoke tailors in Woven and I really want to go down there so badly because I want, I want them to actually make me like my dream jacket. They do the most incredible pieces and I've heard so much about them from the guys at Woburn Mosaic. So the moment the lockdown is over, I am gonna go there, I'm gonna get myself measured and I am going to get the most beautiful, beautiful blazer made. Oh, so exciting. But he's there now picking his bits up in the car park, socially distanced. I'm gonna crack on with some bits about the house. I've got some um, admin work to do on my laptop. So I'm gonna sit down and do that. And yeah. I filmed a reels today as well. A reels? A reels today? So yeah, I'm gonna get back on with some admin. We have just got home from Porter's vaccinations and he gets to go for his first walk in a week's time, which I'm so, so excited about. I have just had this parcel arrive to my PO box and I think that this might have some bits for you in there. So let's have a look, shall we? Now, if I'm right, sorry, you can see my little... <laughs> eucalyptus there if i'm right this will be from jared and gareth and they are two guys that have a lovely little sausage dog called lola and they offered me lots of advice when i was looking for porter which was amazing and they've sent something to my po box and i told them that they do not have to send me anything whatsoever they even told me about these liver treats and i bought them but they insisted on sending me something so i thought i would open it on my video oh it's so cute so it says to lydia ali Looney and Porter. This is absolutely bizarre. So there's a note inside here and this has been repackaged up because this parcel was delivered to Exeter to a Francesca Evans. I'm sorry your parcel is late arriving to you, but it was delivered to my address by mistake. I have no idea why my address was on the other side of the package. It wasn't until I opened the package that I realized it wasn't for me and had your address on the other side of the package. I didn't want it not to get to you and Royal Mail were not helpful at all. So I posted it out to you myself. Best wishes. Oh, wow. I mean, I wish I could contact you to be able to pay for the postage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so then we have the card from Jared and Gareth. See, this is totally a thing that I would do because I have such terrible handwriting that I would like type it out and print it. To Lydia Ali Lumi and of course, Little Sausage Fluff Porter. I wanted to start by saying a massive thank you. Not only have you all played a massive part in my life for a long time through watching your videos, but you've inspired me to become a better person I am today. Myself, Gareth and Lola just wanted to send you a little box of toys and treats to start off Porter on his adventure with his new family. Thank you for giving so much time to talk with me over the past couple of months and not only was this a welcome surprise, but it also made me feel like I had someone completely on my wavelength to speak to. Oh, that's so sweet. I'm gonna link Lola's Instagram account in the description box down below if you want to go and follow another lovely little Dachshund because they used to send me videos of her and the sound of Lola's feet on the floor just made me so happy. I think there's something so special about the sound of Dachshund feet on the floor. It's just, it, it makes me smile like from inside outwards. 
And so when they used to send me the videos, it used to make me so excited now that I hear Porter's feet on the floor. It's such a weird thing. Tell me if you've got a Dachshund and you feel the same way. But when he runs around in the living room and he's running, over, he loves it on the carpet because he can grip and he can run really fast and he just goes nuts. But his little feet going dee -dee 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 -dee, just makes me so happy. Um, anyway, let's get into the box. This is for you, my boy. Should we put you on the floor and open this together? Let's do that. Here's hoping I don't see. <laughs> You've taken the ribbon because the ribbon is way more fun, isn't it? <laughs> You like the ribbon, don't you? You like the ribbon. Oh, wow, look at this. Porty Poo, you've got another blanket that you can pee pee on. You always need new blankets to pee pee on, don't you? <laughs> oh yes, and to, to tear apart, that's also what you like to do. Don't worry, we'll get it open, we'll get it open. What else do we have? Ooh, this looks like something that you can get your teeth into. What else do we have? Ooh, cookies for dogs eight weeks old. These are peanut butter and banana cookie, bu cookie bites. Oh, they feel really cakey. These are wag treats. What are these ones? And we've got tasties for dogs eight weeks old with chicken and liver. Tasty bones. Is that a crackly toy? Oh my goodness, you love a crackly toy. Look at his face. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we love a crackly toy. Auntie Carrie got you a crackly elephant, didn't she? And you love it. Yes, you love your crackly elephant. But now you've got a cr crackly. Oh my God, it's got squeakers too. Your, your favorite. Look at how much fun this is. And then we've got a clicker. Oh, I can't click that because then it means I've got to give you a treat. Sorry. No clicking, mummy's a bad trainer. Look at all of these toys. Oh, this is so sweet. Thank you so much. He is gonna have, oh, there's one more thing. Oh, fresh breath. Ali will love these. Because daddy is not a fan of bad breath. But thank you so much. I'm gonna end this vlog here because there's so much in this video. But Porter is very happy with his crinkly toy. He loves a crinkly toy. Off you go. Okay, careful. Right, I'm gonna leave this here. You're gonna have some zoomies in here. You love zoomies on the carpet, don't you? Because you can run and run. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, yes. Zoomies on the carpet and under the sofa. <laughs> he, can't, he can't get under that one, so he always forgets and tries to run into it. Crazy dog. Crazy dog. <laughs> he just disappears under the sofa. Sausage pie. Oh, wants to come out from here. <laughs> oh, he loves it. Yeah.